Now we move towards point D. So pending moment at point D is equal to zero. Or since again the same reason, summation of all the moments about any point and if that point is D is zero. Now since summation of all moments about point D is actually the all the moments on the left hand side of the section, by definition it is also the bending moment about point D. So your bending moment also comes out to be zero. So now we have found out the bending moment at all the salient points. Now we draw the variation of bending moment diagram. So this is a zero line of bending moment diagram. Positive bending moment above the line and negative bending moment below the line. Along the x-axis we have the length of the beam and we have denoted all the salient points. So bending moment at A is zero. So at point A your bending moment is zero kilo newton meter. Now at point B there are two values of bending moment. Towards left of B we have 60 kilo newton meter. So by taking proper scale, let me plot bending moment of 60 kilo newton meter value. Now, how the bending moment is varying between point A and B? If you see the load diagram, between point A and B there is as such no force acting. So a variation of bending moment will be an inclined straight line. Now we see bending moment towards right of B is 30 kilo newton meter. So we plot another value of bending moment at point B which is 30 kN meter and we connect it with straight vertical line. Now bending moment at C is minus 90 kN meter. So by taking proper scale we plot the minus 19 kN meter over point C and this will be somewhere over here. So this is your minus 90 kN meter since it is below the zero line it is in minus. Now how your bending moment is varying between point B and C. If you see between point B and C uniformly distributed load is acting so the variation of bending moment will be parabolic. So bending moment at D is again zero over this point. Now how your bending moment will be varying will be varying between C and D. Again we see between C and D there is a uniformly distributed load so bending moment will be varying parabolically. So I can say this to a parabolic curve so this much part of the beam is on the positive side whereas this much part of the beam is on the negative side. So with this our bending moment diagram is complete. Now we make some analysis of the bending moment diagram. You see that there will be positive maximum bending moment at point B. So here we can see that the maximum bending moment is of value 60 kN meter. Also at point C your shear force is changing its sign from negative to positive. So negative maximum bending moment is at point C. Also if we see so the bending moment is changing its sign from positive to negative at some intermediate point. Let that point be defined as point E. Now point E is called as point of contraflexure. So contraflexure is the point at which the bending moment is zero or we can say at some intermediate point within the beam the bending moment changes its sign either from positive to negative or from negative to positive. So in this problem we have been asked to find out the point of contraflexure. So to determine the point of contraflexure means to determine the location of this point with respect to some reference point. So we can determine the location or the distance of this point with reference to either your left end support A or the right end support C. Let the location of point E be X from your point B. So if we know the position of point E with respect to B, we can easily calculate or relate it with point A. So for convenience, I am taking the distance from point B. Now we know at point E a bending moment is zero. So we can write the equation as bending moment at point E is equal to zero. Now considering the left hand side of section, suppose let us suppose your point E is acting over here whereas this is your distance x. So writing the equation for bending moment at point E we have first there will be a clockwise moment due to the vertical support reaction of 30 kN. So we have 30 multiplied by and it is acting at a distance of if you see it is acting at a distance of 2 plus x from point E. Then there will be an anti-clockwise moment caused due to this 30 kN downward force and it is acting at a distance of x from point E. So we have minus 30 into x. Also there will be anti-clockwise moment caused due to this UDL which is acting between point B and E. So the magnitude of force will be 15 into x and this much force will be acting at a distance of x by 2 that is in between this much part. 
so we have x by 2 and this is equal to 0 so upon solving this we get 60 plus 30x minus 30 minus 30x minus 7.5 x square is equal to 0 so 30x and 30x gets cancelled upon solving this we get the value of x as 2 meter that is 2 meter towards right from point B so we also determine the point of counter reflection so with this a problem is over thanks for watching in 5 minutes